Hello, welcome back. You know, the world around us is incredibly fascinating. We don't have to make anything up to learn about something actually amazing because the real world is full of amazing facts. Here are six amazing facts about science that I personally find fascinating. Amazing fact number one, human DNA contains genes from other species. Human DNA does contain a small number of genes that have been acquired from bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms through a process called horizontal gene transfer. This occurs when an organism incorporates genetic material from another organism into its own DNA, rather than inheriting it through reproduction. We have about 145 genes acquired in this way from other microorganisms. Horizontal gene transfer is a common occurrence for the natural world, and it has played a role in the evolution of many species. For example, some bacteria have the ability to transfer pieces of their DNA directly into other bacteria, which can allow them to acquire new traits or adaptations. Similarly, plants and animals can also acquire genes from other species through horizontal gene transfer. In humans, a small number of genes have been identified that appear to have been acquired from bacteria and other microorganisms through this process. However, the majority of human genes are inherited through reproduction from our ancestors. Amazing fact number two, Cleopatra lived closer in time to the moon landing than to the building of the Great Pyramid. Cleopatra was the last active pharaoh of ancient Egypt, but believe it or not, her life is closer in time to the moon landings than to the construction of the pyramids. The pyramids of ancient Egypt are some of the oldest and most famous structures in the world, and they were built about 2500 BC. In comparison, the moon landing took place in AD 1969, which was more than 4,000 years later. Cleopatra was born in 69 BC and ruled Egypt from 51 BC to 30 BC. She is most famous for her relationships with Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, and she is considered one of the most powerful and influential women in all of human history. Cleopatra lived approximately 2,500 years after the Great Pyramids were built, but in contrast, she lived only about 2,000 years before the moon landings in 1969 AD. Amazing fact number three. If you stretched out all of the DNA from a single human cell, it would stretch out over two meters long. The DNA molecule is a long, thin, ladder-like structure that is made up of two strands of nucleotides twisted together in a double helix. Each strand is composed of a sugar molecule called a deoxyribose and a phosphate group and one of four bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, or thymine. The DNA molecule is held together by chemical bonds between the nucleotides, and it's a very stable and resistant to damage molecule. It's also extremely small with a diameter of about two nanometers, which is about 100,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. However, if you were to stretch out the DNA molecule from a single cell, all of the DNA that was inside, it would be about two meters long in total. This is because the DNA molecule is so long and thin that it's coiled up inside of the cell in order to fit inside the small, confined space of the nucleus. Taking this a bit further, if you were to stretch out all of the DNA in the human body from all of the cells end to end, it would stretch to over twice the diameter of our solar system. Amazing fact number four, it can rain diamonds on other planets. It's theoretically possible for it to rain diamonds on other planets, but this would require specific conditions to be present. On the Earth, diamonds are formed under high pressure and temperature conditions, and they're typically found deep underground on Earth. Diamonds are made up of the element carbon, arranged in a crystalline structure called a diamond cubic. On other planets with different environments, it's possible that diamonds could form and be brought to the surface in a variety of ways. One possibility is that diamonds could form in the upper atmosphere of a gas giant planet such as Jupiter or Saturn, where the atmospheric pressure and temperature are much, much higher than on Earth. If these diamonds were to collect, much like a raindrop, they could rain down through the cloud layers as solid diamond rain. Amazing fact number five. The human body contains more bacterial cells than human cells. There are about 10 times as many bacterial cells as human cells in the human body. 
However, bacteria are much, much smaller than human cells, so they make up a much smaller percentage of the total mass of the body. In general, bacterial cells are about one-tenth the size of human cells. The size of a bacterial cell depends on the specific type of bacteria, but most are in the range of 0.2 to 2.0 micrometers in diameter. Human cells are much larger, with most being in the range of 10 to 30 micrometers in diameter. However, some human cells, such as nerve cells and muscle cells, can be much, much longer. Despite their small size, bacterial cells are highly complex and can perform many of the same functions as human cells. They are capable of reproducing, synthesizing proteins, and interacting with their environment. The human body contains a diverse community of bacteria that live in and on various parts of the body, including the skin, nose, mouth, and gut. These bacteria play important roles in maintaining health and preventing illness, and they're generally harmless to humans. Amazing fact number six. We have absolutely no idea what most of the universe looks like. Dark matter is a type of matter that does not interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation, which makes it invisible to telescopes and other instruments that detect electromagnetic waves. Despite being invisible, dark matter is thought to make up about 85% of the total mass of the universe. Scientists believe that dark matter may be made up of some type of undiscovered particle, but so far they've not been able to detect it directly. The search for dark matter is an active area of research in astronomy and particle physics, and it involves a wide range of experimental techniques and technologies. One approach to detecting dark matter is to look for its gravitational effects on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. Another approach is to search for the collisional effects of dark matter particles, which could potentially be detected through the use of specialized detectors. The nature of dark matter is currently unknown, and it's possible that it could be composed of a yet-to-be-discovered type of particle or other exotic form of matter. Now, in my opinion, all of these are amazing facts, but the last one, number six, dark matter, is probably the one that blows my mind the most. And that's an active area of research today. I'll probably do a complete video on it in the future. Dark matter is absolutely mind-blowing. We look at galaxies in the universe. We know, or we think we know, how gravity works. We can calculate how gravity works, but the rotations of galaxies don't obey our laws of gravity. It's just a complete disconnect with the speed of the rotations of the galaxies compared to what we think they should be doing based on gravity. When we look around, all of the galaxies are behaving this way. So either our theory of gravity is wrong, which it probably is, but it would have to be very, very wrong, or there are additional matter particles in the vicinity of galaxies that don't emit any light. And not only do they not emit any light, they don't even interact with light. In other words, when you see my face and you see you know, the board or your pencil or anything, photons from the light are bouncing off and they're interacting. They're, that's what it means to bounce off of something, to interact with matter and fly in a different direction. But, but dark matter is theorized to not interact with photons at all. So any photons going through a dark matter cloud would just go right through. Therefore, we could never see it. It doesn't radiate anything uh, and it doesn't reflect anything. And so the current theories are that the only way to explain the rotations of galaxies are by the existence of this particle, this dark matter particle. Stay tuned because that is something that will be researched over the coming years. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed these six exciting and amazing science facts. I plan to bring more of those to you in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.